Like Ronald Reagan, I am strongly in favor of exceptions for rape, incest, and life of the mother. That's in a Truth Social post this morning as the former president readies a 2024 rematch with President Biden in November. In this video, he says that he believes abortion policy should rest with the states. He believes that there's not going to necessarily be a federal standard that has X number of weeks that would something would be allowed or not allowed to happen. Instead, he believes it needs to happen on a state-by-state -state basis. And he even admits this could create a little bit of confusion depending on where you are. However, he says it's about the will of the people. Fox's Mark Meredith that the White House Democrats have blamed three Trump-appointed Supreme Court justices for overturning the Roe v. Wade ruling that undid a woman's right to abortion, letting states ban the procedure. President Biden will go to Wisconsin today, offering more student loan debt relief, up to $20,000 in interest wiped out for 25 million Americans. And Fox's Madeline Rivera reports. About 2 million borrowers who are eligible for loan forgiveness programs but have not applied could see their balances automatically forgiven. This after the Supreme Court blocked an even bigger Biden debt relief plan last year. We're all going to see something rare today. The total solar eclipse, three minutes and 51 seconds of atmospheric joy. Fox Weathers, Robert Ray's in Indianapolis, where he will see the moon block the sun entirely. 15 states will have the totality 115, 120 miles wide. Over 30 million people will see the totality. But the good news is, is every state in the lower 48 will experience some sort of this eclipse. Of course, you need those special protective glasses to avoid serious damage to your eyes. Country star Morgan Wallen's in trouble, arrested last night in Nashville on felony reckless endangerment charges, then released early this morning. Wallen's accused of throwing a chair off a rooftop bar that landed six stories down a few feet away from a couple of Nashville police officers. America's listening to Fox News. Donald Trump Jr. here. Since January of 2021, the cost of living has increased by 17.9%. You can't get that money back. But you can stop your losses by diversifying into a gold IRA from my friends at Birch Gold Group. To learn more, get your free info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word SHELTER to 989898. That's SHELTER to the number 989898 to get your free info kit from Birch Gold now. Message and data rates may apply. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is back in China for economic talks for the second time in nine months. It's undeniable that the U.S.-China relationship is on a stronger footing today than this time last year. Yellen also spoke about TikTok as Congress considers banning the social media app if TikTok does not cut ties with its Chinese parent company. Our concern here has to do with sensitive personal data and protecting it. Uh, this is a legitimate concern. We're paying more at the gas pump. Average gasoline price is up seven cents per gallon in the past two weeks. The new price is three sixty seven. But it's the trajectory, this is dramatic. Over three months, the price is up forty nine cents. And old Trilly Lundberg also expects prices to keep rising. Triple A's national average for regular, less than her survey, 359 per gallon. On Wall Street, stock futures are barely moving after last week's selling. There's a new champ in women's college basketball, a team that got revenge. One year after Caitlin Clark and Iowa spoiled South Carolina's perfect season at the Final Four, the Gamecocks achieved perfection 87-75, ending Clark's storied career with a loss. It's South Carolina's third title in eight years to the first undefeated team since UConn in 2016. Clark, the all-time scoring leader in the sport, finished with 30 points in her final game and talked afterwards about the end of her collegiate career. There's going to be tears. It is sad that this is all over and this is the last time I'm going to put on an Iowa jersey, so um, I think just reflecting back and soaking in everything that I was able to do because anybody other than me and Coach Bluter never thought this was possible. I'm Tim McMaster, Fox News. There's news in men's basketball ahead of the NCAA title game tonight when Connecticut tries to repeat as champs versus Purdue. Kentucky coach John Calipari is going to leave after 15 seasons. There are reports Calipari will go coach Arkansas next. I'm Dave Anthony. This is Fox News. 
Here's a look at local news. Well, the Champaign School Board of Education with whittling down the list of applicants for the two vacancies. All the finalists will be publicly interviewed at a special board meeting tomorrow. It meets at 5. It'll take place at the Mellon Administrative Center on New Street. Regional superintendent will choose candidates if the board can't agree. Family of the boy who allegedly sexually assaulted by a substitute teacher has hired attorneys to represent them in court. Chicago-based law firm confirming they were retained by the family and they'll be pursuing legal action against not only Allie Bardfield of Decatur Schools. Attorneys accused the school district of failing to ensure the safety and well-being of its students. Marching Illini celebrating the birthday of a former band member who played well before their time. Richard Coggle turned 107 years old over the weekend. Friday, some of the band members surprised him with a personal concert at his house. Coggle is the oldest living Marching Illini alum at 107 years old. You're up to date from the Stevie J Broadcasting Newsroom. I'm Jim Miller. All right, so I now I have interest today because it's show it's showtime. It's it's game day. And yes. There's a solar eclipse. So yeah, I don't know there if you've heard is. about this. And I, <gasps> now I I found ISO I, I found the ISO rated glasses in my drawer from 2017. They'd never been worn. Mm-hmm. So I presume I, they're, I, they're I good. Have, I, they're I have fun. five pair five pair here. Uh, so, yes, so, ready so to go, too. We're, we're going to wear those because you go to the Internet, and they'll tell you everything. But some are saying, you got a new pair? You got a new pair? They've been in the drawer for seven yeah, years. He, yeah. I yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe drumming up business. I yeah, don't know. Well, that's what I was saying. <laughs> well, this I'm this hearing, is the last one of these things for a while, I yeah, yeah, We're yeah. already seeing traffic on I-74 well, as you, we you, head you, towards you, Indiana ma- today, ma- if, right now. If you've never seen uh, my big, fat Greek wedding. Uh-huh. And the guy says, give me a word, any word, I'll tell you where it comes from Greece. So you give me a zip code, I'll tell you the totality of your town. I have a map, I have this little thingy that Brother Greg sent me, so I can type in your zip code. Okay. So if you want to see the best cover around here, it's Philo. Is that right? Yeah, Tolona, like, yeah, Tolona's exactly. a good little town now. Uh, I know. Tolona's got 98.6. Like, like, like 98.6. Right? Well, right. Right. Philo's the 98.8. Tolona's 98.6. Oh. But, but you know how close you can get to 100%? Effingham. Right. Effingham's got 100. Neoga, just south of Mattoon, is 98, 99.9. Right. And if, if or you that, go to that uh, town man, Kata, I believe, right? Man something man down Kenna south. But, but Effingham's 100. Why don't you go sit under the cross in Effingham and watch this thing? Ooh, that's a good they idea. They have a giant cross in Effingham oh, on 57. Yeah. Love that thing. It's absolutely well, you, can, you if you If you know your photography and how to shoot that stuff Ooh. in this kind of event with mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. and as a backdrop or for, you know, forefront or in the eclipse, wow, that would be pretty that's inspiring. A, um, it's Canfer time. Where's Larry? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Drive, drive to Effingham, sit under the cross. And um, anyway, it's 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 going to be amazing. Uh, but I, it's four minutes, three minutes, uh, two minutes, whatever it is. And people are, you know what the you know what the governor of New York actually said? What? Take plenty of snacks and make sure your car's full of gas. And it's yeah, not, I suspect ah, so. It's going <laughs> to my, my, my part of the world. I and and, 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 I, and I've got a little. You know, when the weather's decent, I I try to build in a break. I'm I'm going to go out. I'm going to be on my bike ride. I'm going to go out and wow. do it that way. So. Well, that's and you got your but you can't ride a bike with those glasses. Can't no, 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 no. And well, that's well, what I'll, they're I'll warning stop. people I'll, on you know. the on the traffic too on I seventy four. Don't I have drive with your glasses bike too, on. So. Yeah, don't drive with your glasses. Can't see squat. That I know, I know. I'll have, you know, I mean, I think that'll be cool just to, you know, on the bike trail, unless that's going to be crowded well, too. Who knows? What do the animals do when they think it got dark in the there, middle There of is a reaction, especially, yeah, pre- you know, in the higher quiet. totality areas. Mm-hmm. So. They say it's quiet. All right, so we're going to conclude that my ISO rated proper number on the side of the glasses from 2017 that have not been worn are just fine. That's uh-huh. what I'm going to conclude. Okay. The whole experience yes. today, like 1245 to 315. Yeah. But if you're in the zone of just seeing, you know. That's two-ish. Two-ish. Two is the yeah, totality. Yeah, a little after two, I believe. Two, 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 five, five or two, mm-hmm. seven, yeah. You look up. <laughs> And you see, oh, look, it's covering part of the... Okay, I'm done. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, it's kind of like Chevy Chase and Vacation looking at the Grand Canyon. No, 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 good. Okay. It's we spent all this money, this car, exactly. this time, uh, gas, uh, your lodging, and, and it's kind of underwhelming, I, maybe I, for some I, folks. I don't so. know. I, God bless you. It's awesome. It's really unique and, and that kind of thing. But, yeah, okay. So I'm planning to, to, to play along here for a while That's right. toward the total totality thing. That's right. So. And Champaign and Urbana libraries have their viewing parties in case you'd like to, you know, get the glasses and get in the zone on that between right. 1230 and 230.
Okay, uh, I suppose we ought to get to our week. It's going to be warm, man. This yeah. is awesome. Yeah. This is really good. It's Greg Solier, meteorologist. I am Stevie J. That is Diane Ducey. Good morning. And our weather brought to you by Carl. Carl reminds you that if you see any abnormalities in your skin and you're concerned about some changes that you've noticed, for more information, go to carl.org slash skin cancer. Okay, Mr. Guru Weatherman. I, nice today, 70-ish? Right? Yeah, we'll be up actually about 74, 75. We play our cards right, but uh, you know, from a, a, a ceiling standpoint, we do have some high mid-level clouds working their way north and northeast of the Ozarks are kind of streaming north and northeast where they may impact uh, that uh, Carbondale area. And there are those folks there from Effingham on southward are in some uh, fog issues, dense fog advisories, uh, with visibility is down to fractions of a mile. That should be lifting, uh, but may form up some cumuliform and then high and mid-level clouds there, I think, as the day wears on. We ought to be good shape, just some cirrus clouds up around 25,000 feet, that milky, wispy stuff, uh, and nothing more. 47 at Willard and Savoy right now. 40, the cool spot, Ogden St. Joe, but 74 with a mostly sunny day, except for the little hint of darkness early on uh, this afternoon. Southwest wind, 10 to 20, and gusty, increasing clouds, 51 tonight. We think there may be a shower or two around here both morning and afternoon tomorrow, especially Champaign on southward. Highs tomorrow at 71. 66 and some shower and thunderstorm activity scattered early late in the day and Wednesday. More rain Thursday and 58. We're back in the 60s on Friday. 70s for the weekend with a stray shower and thunderstorm Saturday. Could flirt with 80 around here for early next week. For Stephen J. Broadcasting, I'm Greg Soldier. All right, buddy. Thank you so much. By the way, you can't, um, you can't feel your retina getting hurt right so it's one of those you could burn your retina there's a chance some of it comes back but Mm -hmm. probably not right not all of it that's right so you can't just look up and look at this solar eclipse you have to have this correct eyewear otherwise you could damage your eyesight Mm -hmm. for life so it's certainly not worth that right champagne urbana public health is a great source in case you'd like to do a quick search online about eye safety today okay but again everything starts around here and again if you seriously if you want to know what your zip code's going to see i mean it's all around 98 it is so it's pretty good we are pretty good in the Uh past as it goes if you look at the country and we have like a double band going through central Illinois. So it's like, oh my gosh. This yes, is we do. About as good as it's going to get if, mm-hmm. if you want to see it. But somebody out in Idaho is going, what's up? <laughs> you know, just, we're, we're way off the band. It comes right through our town. With the fog this morning, though, it was a gorgeous sunrise. And yeah. I was like, mm, girl, this is your day. You're looking good. <laughs> so we got it going on uh, again. It's going to happen in whatever, how many years? So it happened oh, in 2017. It did. So, and we're, I think, 25 years from now until the next one or something. There's a 105-year-old so. guy seen his 13th one. Oh, really? So, That's good, cool. Awesome. Yeah. Well, and I was thinking to myself, of course, the music aspect of this, Dark Side of the Moon, maybe, some Pink Floyd, maybe Moon Dance from Van Moore. Person. That's a solid tune. I was just thinking of songs that would go along. Wonderful night for a moon dance. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> no, those are great ideas. So, totally clips of the heart, maybe. Bonnie Tyler. Hey, thanks for your request. We'll try and see what we can do. <laughs> they used to say back in the day. Exactly. Hey, thanks for calling. We'll see what we can do. Hey, thanks for calling. We'll see what we can do. Hey. Exactly. All right. You never uh, say no. I'm never going to play that. You always say, it, uh, I'll see what I can do. Yeah. You'll never know. See what I can do. Love All it. right. We go to our morning sports. Perfection with a touch of sweet redemption. Undefeated South Carolina mm. has won its third national championship. And Caitlin Clark says goodbye to college basketball. Yeah, I'm sad we lost this game, but I'm also so proud of myself. I'm so proud of my teammates. I'm so proud of this program. Um, there's a lot to be proud of, but, you know, there's going to be tears. It is sad that this is all over. Uh, South Carolina looked like they had about, I don't know, 15 really good players. Oh, really? my gosh. I, I mean, it, it, it just, it's, I, I didn't know who, who it was. But it was somebody different. They have so much talent. Stevie J wins 32. They were 37 and 38, no, whatever it was. I could have won 32 walking off. They just have so much talent. Unbelievable how good they looked. South Carolina is 109 wins and three losses in the last three years with Coach Don Staley. And they just won their third national title. So Mm. good luck to everybody else uh, chasing that because they look way better than anybody I've ever seen in women's basketball. Right. Uh, Tonight, 
It's Purdue They're versus UConn. Two really excited programs. Connecticut and Purdue are real excited. The rest of us are going. I I can't see beat. I just can't see beating Connecticut. I, I I can't see it. Really? I think I think this Klingon is better than yeah. than Klingon Jackie. versus Edie. I think he's better than two Edie. big men in the middle. I think he's more mobile and he's you know two inches shorter. Seven two versus seven four. Hmm. I think UConn's in the South Carolina category for me. I, I just think they're a little ahead of everybody. After Purdue won Saturday, the woman interviewing Zach Eady was like fully extended. No, she's with on them. a she's on a ladder. She was. No, uh, we, she came, she got on a ladder after that <laughs> because that was Tracy Wolfson. And she's like five one. We were just five saying, two. What the heck? Couldn't they have picked somebody to do courtside no. who was a little? He was taller? the best player. Well, I know that. Why couldn't they plan? The, no, the... Tracy, you're going to discriminate against short people. <laughs> I'm suing you. She you are discriminating like, against on her my size. Toes with the microphone at the but end she, of her hand. The, the next like time that. they got a ladder, it's funny. <laughs> she was actually on a ladder, okay. and she was taller than Danny Hurley after the game. <laughs> So it's quite funny. Anyway, I, I don't know. I guess anything can happen. Purdue's really good. I, I don't see how you uh, – Connecticut's a six-and-a-half-point favorite, seven-point favorite. I don't see anybody beating UConn, but that's just me. Okay, so here's this thing that says nothing like a bombshell of news on the eve of the national championship game. John Calipari's leaving Kentucky and headed across the SEC to Arkansas – finalizing a five-year deal to replace Eric Musselman in Fayetteville. So what's your reaction to that, I, I mean, if you're looking around for a great coach, is Brad too old? I, I mean, mean, he's the winningest coach in the Big Ten over the last right? five years, and he's a fire, I mean, fiery guy. He's not going to leave our line, I. Kentucky? That's Kansas. That's North Carolina. That's a blue blood. That's a big. That's a big job. But he's and right in the middle of buttoning and the, everything up for coaches available? versus cancer. <laughs> yeah, he's got a. He's got a. He's got a gig. <laughs> coaches versus cancer. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think Brad would would be interested. I don't know. I just know Kentucky's a big job. It's Kansas. Mm -hmm. It's it's one of the you know Adolph Rupp. Right. It, it's a historic deal, but who's out there now? Kind of late, really. I mean, or is it? I, I guess. It's just a coaching carousel, mm -hmm. but she, you, you yip yap too much down in Lexington about your coach, and he left. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Five year guy. Now we'll see ya. Our our former assistants down there probably going to go with him to Arkansas, and uh, they'll love him down there. Can he get his McDonald All Americans to follow? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, John Calipari. So there's a big gig open. Woo. That's right. Orlando beat the Bulls. Pacers win. We had uh, Minnesota over the Blackhawks. Four to nothing, and St. Louis Blues over Anaheim, six to five. Uh, Parkland College women's softball, two, uh, 10 and 0 right now, winning a doubleheader yesterday in five innings. Cubs win. St. Louis lost to Miami yesterday. Yeah, it's okay. They won two out of three. Okay. Cubbies won two out of three against I the know. Dodgers. What? I'm telling you, they got a great manager in Craig Council. And Kansas City beat the White Sox. Weather brought to you by Busey. They've been around over 150 years. Member FDIC. So we get every month. Let's check weather for East Central Florida. Champagne and Panama Saturday. It's the big day. The big solar eclipse scheduled to reach its peak here in East Central Florida shortly after the two o'clock hour. Pretty good looking visibilities and ceilings expected. Unlimited in both categories. Weather wise for the rest of the week, frontal boundary and a system up from the south and southwest. Two of them will generate some glancing rainfall tomorrow. More so the middle part of the week. Modest cool down. Another big warm up slated over the course of the weekend next week too. Uh, we'll see an afternoon high. Today across the area that tops out to at around 74 degrees on a gusty south southwesterly wind down to 9 to 51. Tomorrow maybe a stray shower early and late, more so later in the day, the height about 71. Occasional showers tomorrow night, low down to 47, and a bit cooler for the day on Wednesday. Some showers both morning and afternoon. High slated thunderstorm up to 66. Rain in 58 on Thursday, 62 on Friday into the 70s, Saturday and Sunday. Could be a shower on Saturday. For Steve G Broadcasting, I'd be Dolchus, Greg Solge. A tradition of excellence over 150 years in the making. At Busey Bank, we're committed to building relationships that span generations. Wherever your journey in life leads you, we are with you along the way, creating a legacy for you and your family. Busey Bank, building business, growing wealth since 1868. Proud to be the official bank of the Fighting Illini. Member FDIC. 
will give you a chance on a Stever. Stand by. You'll like this. It'll be next. ESPN 93.5. It is Monday, April 8th, and it's 7.20. I'm Liz Klayman, and this is the Fox Business Report. AP Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon says in his annual letter to shareholders that he's convinced the consequences of artificial intelligence could be as transformational as the printing press, steam engine, electricity, computing, and the Internet. Diamond also says the U.S. economy has remained resilient, though he warns wars in Ukraine and the Middle East could amplify economic stresses. He warns U.S. interest rates could soar to 8% or more in coming years. Tesla shares are up more than 3% after the company revealed its long-awaited robo-taxi will be revealed on August 8th. Spirit Airlines says it will hold off on deliveries of planes from Airbus and will furlough 260 pilots starting in September to shore up its financial position. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Jenny Poselda. Invested in you. From the Fox News Podcasts Network. Hey there, it's me, Kennedy. Make sure to check out my podcast, Kennedy Saves the World. It is five days a week, every week. We check in with Jimmy Fela, bring in authors for the book club, and even treat some of your favorite Fox personalities to a very special happy hour. Download and listen at foxnewspodcast.com or wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Kennedy Saves the World. America's listening to Fox News. Illinois women's basketball star Makaira Cook on living at Pacifica on Green. The general manager, she's great. Everybody loves Lisa. If you've ever met Lisa, you know she's a great woman who would do anything for any of these kids here. So we all just love her so much. So when you go wherever you go on the road with the women's basketball team, when you come home, kind of you look forward to coming here? I do look forward to coming here. Um, I've made friends here, and I just like the environment. I like the staff, and just the building is amazing. Visit them at PacificaOnGreen.com. Invest in yourself and your money with a free rewards checking account from Fisher National Bank. Instead of losing a little each month in service fees and charges, wouldn't it be nice to earn on your money? Switch to Fisher National, where we offer 2.02 annual percentage yields on balances up to $20,000. No service fees or minimum balance required. Simply make 12 debit card purchases, agree to receive your statements electronically, and have at least one direct deposit in a monthly cycle to qualify. It's as easy as that. If an excellent APY alone wasn't enough, our free rewards checking also includes ATM fee refunds up to $20 and access to Reward Saver, which increases your earnings potential with 4.07% APY on balances up to $20,000. When you're ready to maximize your money, look to Fisher National, a bank ready to make the investment in you. See monthly requirements at any branch or visit FisherNational.com. Fisher National Bank, exceptional communities, exceptional people. Member FDIC. Kansas. Another Fork in the Road 50th Anniversary Tour. Celebrating 50 years of Kansas. With all your favorites and deep cuts too. Friday, April 12th, the Virginia Theater. Sale now at the Virginia.org. And we've got some tickets to that, Stevie. If you want to text Kansas and go to the show Friday night, 359 2255 to try to win from ESPN 93.5. There you go. All right. So, uh, again, national title game tonight Purdue and uh, UConn. Some of the seats in that football stadium. I just don't know. Right. You're way far away. I mean, do you, I guess you bring binoculars, huh? <laughs> I think if you were really good at them, you could see the ball go through the basket with binoculars, but maybe not. These are way up in... I saw some point of views they had. You could see this. the rectangle. The floor is rectangular. Okay, so that's good. If you're a math good. person, you could know that. <laughs> hey, that's a rectangle. Right. That, but well, and even, thankfully, they have a jumbotron, and you can see. Well, you, well, you, but you're a second behind. It's just a, just a beat behind, so you'll hear lower bowl cheering. And they're not even a bowl. See, they, I get it's all about money. I get it's not about fan viewing there. It's the TV coverage. That's where you garner all the all the audience, obviously. But mm-hmm. what this, the, the seats are steep in basketball arenas relative to football. They're more gradual going up. And so even if you have a really expensive seat, you're still kind of way back. 
from where you're used to in your expensive seats if you sit close at your arena. Anyway, it'll be uh, interesting to see. I pick Connecticut. I just think they're... You have 27%, it looks like, of the brackets, you know, on ESPN say Connecticut. 10% say Purdue. Some of them picked Houston. Oh, you're talking about people that did the pool. That's right. I was going to say, it's only 37% out of 100. No. I think you ask America, 80% would say UConn. They just... Just really okay. They're taller, bigger, stronger, All better. All right. All right. Let's see. Purdue's good. It's on uh, TBS tonight. And, and here's the strategy as if I'm inventing anything. The coach has to say, here's the ball, put it in the basket. You're going to get creamed, and nothing's going to get called. They're letting them play. Okay. As long as you can hack a shack and do all the stuff, shack a hack, hack, shack, just, mm-hmm. cr- just hit them. If, it's, if you're not leaning down, there's certain things. If you bend over with your arms, if you go straight up and down, you can bump the heck out of anybody and <clears throat> how the big men in the middle because it's going to be a race. If somebody gets two fouls, it, it's going to be a clear advantage. I see. If either the two big guys get two fouls, clear advantage. So if, if you can get two f- quick fouls on Klingon, that's a, that's a difference. They could, they could beat them. But if, if presuming no foul trouble for anybody, UConn by 10. I thought it was a little. At least. When UConn and Iowa had the game on Friday night in the last seconds, and there was this foul called, and, and UConn's coach was outraged, and I, I, they played it back. I didn't see anything. Well, just, you're, you're, when you set a screen, right? technically your feet shouldn't be wider than your shoulders. And she was almost doing the split. I see. So that was too wide. Okay. It was probably could be called a foul, but you can call that any time. Right. You're in so the last second I, of the game. But, but if it clears out the woman to shoot a nice shot and you took out the person with a bad screen, that's not fair either. Right. But it's just generally speaking, don't they just swallow whistles at the end of games? Let the players right. decide. They don't right. call fouls. And so when that happened, it was like, I was rooting for Iowa, but I'm going, e, that feels funny. Right. Um, you know, conspiracy theorists, here right, we go. Right. They have to have Caitlin in the title <laughs> game. It, it was worth millions to have her in the I'll bet. With the ratings, I'm sure the ratings were 12 plus million. So it's, um, anyway, it, it was, uh, it was a, yeah, I would I don't like that when right, it's, right, it comes right, down to right. a foul like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, she might have missed the shot, too. But, yeah, it, technically a foul, but crime in it, you can call fouls every time. You can call three seconds about every time. They don't really do that either. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's uh, it's over for the women. South Carolina is uh, the woman this year. That's unbelievable. Well, and now the portal's opened up, and I know my circle, we had a road trip to Milwaukee this weekend, and Anna Jean is classmates with Elise Knudsen, so we were talking about her being in the transfer yeah. portal for yep. Milliken, yep, yep. and what are next steps for her? Well, she'll be at a new school, and hopefully... She's a great score she's a great score she's division three so they're going to say can that go to translate to division one mm-hmm. i think a score is a score and she's a really good player and just tell a kid like that that you can't play at this level and see what happens <laughs> so we'll see anyway she'll, she'll be at a new school and we'll see where but uh, there are dozens of interested uh, colleges and university in elise knutson okay ladies and gentlemen moms and dads and boys and girls april 8th the stever program where i give you money I'm going to give out $50 bills now to go eat at Long Branch Steakhouse. Ooh. We're spreading the wealth because many of you love going there, but yes. it's better to give others a chance. Want a new experience. We'll, we'll get a lot of people that are in this random drawing, and uh, we would like new people simply because, yeah, you've been there. Right. So if, if you've not been there, I, I won't even say that. If you've not won this, it's okay. You win. I don't care if you go every week. Okay. As long as you haven't won one. That's right. Because we like spiffing good customers, too. 310 South Main Street in Gifford. So if you want to go eat Donnie's Steaks up there in Gifford, Illinois, you would just go to GoStever.com. GoStever.com. If you're not a member, it's free. And you can join and enter. And then you'll get an email tonight after 8. If you're one of our winners, you have, uh, we'll give you two weekends. This weekend and the next to go in. They're open Wednesday through Saturday from 9 I'm sorry, 5 to 9 in the evening. So yes. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. So go. it's GoStever.com, S-T-E-V-E-R, GoStever.com. And I like going Wednesdays and Thursdays with the shish kebab offering. Mm. That's a good one. Okay. Mm-hmm. So there you go. It's GoStever.com if you're interested in Long Branch Steakhouse. If you've not won this before, it's for you. $50 bills to go eat. Enjoy. And we are doing the Cardinal bus trip. Yes, we are. It is June 22nd. We haven't hit the barrage of information that will be flowing through all of our radios soon. 
Uh, but we are already, without a lot of effort, half full. So if you're interested in getting info on the bus, it is expensive because we're doing it all sweet on a Saturday, so it's higher. I'm Liz. And so if you're interested, just text BUS okay. to 217-359-2255. We'll get you the information. Once again, Saturday, June 22nd, St. Louis Cardinals versus San Francisco Giants. Tomorrow night, A.J. Croce will be at the Virginia Theater. I and love it. His dad, Jim, tragically died in an airplane crash, what, 50 years ago? Right. And we're going to call him and talk to A.J. Croce about the show tomorrow night as a Virginia coming up next. ESPN 93.5, time for Fox News and weather and sports all coming up. 7.30 in Champaign-Urbana. Fox News, I'm C.J. Papa. Former President Trump reveals his abortion policy this morning. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both And whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. Mr. Trump in a video posted on his Truth Social platform. It's known as the Brickyard, but the only race at the famed venue today takes place in the sky. People starting to shuffle into the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. If that picture is indicative of the way this day is going to go, then I think we're in luck uh, for that 306 total eclipse. Three minutes and 51 seconds is the projected time it may last. That is Fox Weathers, Robert Ray at the Fame Speedway. America's listening to Fox News. Here's a look at local news. Today, the Eclipse and organizations in Illinois have various ways to view the rare astronomical event. University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign astronomy professor Leslie Looney recommends anyone who has the ability to travel into the path of totality notes the event's not only interesting, but it's an important time for scientific discovery. Road work set to start this week on Route 51 and Forsyth, the road between Interstate 72 and Forsyth Road, undergoing a $14 million project. It includes resurfacing, curb replacement, and upgrading traffic signals as well as improving sidewalks. The project will begin tomorrow. Families of students at the Oakwood School District have organized a petition after the school announced students will not be outside to view the eclipse today but will be observing indoor learning activities instead. That petition which was created on change.org Friday has garnered over 200 signatures. A member of the Oakwood PTO said within three hours they had 100 signatures. You're up to date from the Stevie J Broadcasting Newsroom. I'm Jim Miller. Hi Jim, thank you. SBN 93.5, our weather brought to you by the Urbana Park District. The office trivia is Friday, Stevie. It's only $5 to go to the Phillips I'm Recreation. i show the office. The office. Office, okay. Yes. Yeah. And it's Friday the 12th from 6 to 8 at the Phillips Recreation Center. The catch it your hands need to have a team. $5 a person. I think we'd be decent. Register soon. There are other people that are ridiculous <laughs> on what we think we know. No, they know everything. They're so. better parks not a Hello again, everyone. Let's check weather for you Central Illinois. Champagne event of this Saturday. Here it is. The big historic solar eclipse with a totality percentage of about 97.7%. Shortly after about the 2 o'clock hour beginning, the phase around the noontime hour and extending a little bit past 3. Good visibilities and uh, ceilings that'll be based on strictly high-level cirrus clouds, perhaps in some areas at around 25,000 feet. Otherwise, closer to the ground, uh, mostly sunny mid to late afternoon, as well as this morning after some areas of fog, uh, high to about 74, 51 tonight. Could be a stray shower early, more so late tomorrow at 71. Some scattered showers at 66 on Wednesday. Thursday, widespread rains across the area at 58. We'll dry it out with a gusty wind in 62 on Friday. Big warm-up for the weekend, much of next week as well. Well, wetter as well, but that'll be the last of it. 71 on Saturday, highs near 80 by Monday. For Stevie J Broadcasting, I'm Petrosius Greg Soldier. Get the roof your home deserves by Roof Doctors, your residential roofing specialist that has always offered the best warranties in the industry, like our non-prorated 50-year warranty. Our customers love that we are family-owned and locally operated. We make our customer needs our top priority. With over 30 years experience and the best customer service, give Roof Doctors a call today for your free estimate at 328-7529. In your community and for your community, Roof Doctors. As Tapman's Towing celebrates 50 years of serving Central Illinois, we're always seeking good people to serve our great customers. Our team of expert tow professionals would like to interview others with CDLs, previous tow experience, or a strong interest in serving others. 
If you enjoy serving people, love working in the outdoors, and looking for a career, not just a job, we should talk soon. Do you have a strong desire but lack the experience? We should still talk. Visit our career page at tapmanstilling.com. Sold, Jim Croce's legacy as an iconic singer-songwriter is firmly cemented. A.J. Croce, his son, a billboard-charting singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and performer, returns, as a matter of fact, returns tomorrow night to the Virginia Theater. Mm-hmm. He'll be bringing Jim's classic songs to the stage with his Croce playing Croce 50th anniversary tour, but it has not been easy in his life for A.J. A.J. Croce lost his father before he turned two, his sight when he was four, and later his home to fire, and his wife to a rare heart condition. When we lose someone we love, whether it was my father, my wife, um, my sight, we can decide how we want to bring it into our life. Do we want to dwell on it? Do we want to find the best part of that person, that experience, um, and keep it with us? It's a question he's wrestled with for decades. Now, at 50, he has an answer he's sharing on stages across the country. Operator, well, could you help me place this car? See the number on the map, it's old and faded. If the songs sound familiar, so might the name, Croce. With my best old ex-friend, Ray. As in Jim. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, A.J. Croce. I'm already a fan, A.J. I mean, man, what, cur- <laughs> what courage, what, 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 to, to do what you, you're doing, what you've done. I'm a fan of yours, my friend. Oh, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right, so, so what's this like? I mean, going around and doing, <laughs> it's what, amazing. What, what is it like? You know, it, it, it's been really I'll tell you, it wasn't something I ever planned on. I I don't think I could have ever planned on uh, doing this, or if someone told me, I would have said, no, you're you're crazy. (laughs) But it happened in a really organic way. You know, I work behind the scenes with my father's music for almost 30 years now, and um, and it was always uh, uh, an honor to be able to represent his, his catalog, his legacy, his music. But I put my music in a separate category. I did what I did and all the tours and artists I worked with, like Ray Charles and, and Aretha and James Brown and B.B. King, who found me, you know, in a way. And um, all of that stuff, those those artists were kind of, you know, those were my kind of uh, uh, gateway drugs. Um, but it was a natural occurrence picking up guitar in my in my early 30s and uh, cuz I was always a piano player if you didn't know and um and then and t- t- learning songs and taking the time to like uh think about how they affected me in which way what how could how could I include one of these songs in my show i think it was once uh, no one expected to hear me perform my father's music in a live concert. It made it a lot easier for me to throw it in and have fun with it. What? And uh, and and it came about in, a, in a, you know over a lot of time and uh, you know, but it did come and I'm I'm really happy with with these these shows. It's just been amazing. AJ, when were you first aware who your dad was? I mean, you were two when he died. I think in the plane crash. You really you didn't. Don't, I'm sure you don't remember mm-hmm. that. But when did you become aware? of who this guy was. I was, I think I was probably 
you know, a kid. I was, you know, three or four years old, and people, you know, people would talk about my father, or they'd talk about one of his songs, or, um, you know, um, I was young. I was real young, you know, and and that stuff was um, a little overwhelming, you know, the celebrity, the fame yeah, aspect yeah. of it was, was a lot. And um, uh, it wasn't what I was looking for as an artist. I was just looking to be the best, you know, piano player, songwriter, singer that I could be. That's, that was my goal. Uh, I didn't care, at, you know, uh, about any recognition like that. And then I realized kind of later than you would think in my career after many, many records that I would, that I like, yeah, you need to have, you need to have that uh, recognition if you want to do this for a living. You need to do it uh, all the way. Mm -hmm. You can't just, uh, you know, walk that fine line um, um, between being anonymous and, and recognizable. And so, you know, it was a combination of things that gave me the confidence to do this, you know, um, of course, I've been performing my entire life. Yeah, you have, and so you're, you're a very talented yeah. musician in your own right. I would think, you know, it's like Michael Jordan's kids, right? I mean, it's like, you're really good. Your, your AJ is really, really good. And people are going to love you, and they're going to love your storytelling. They're going to love your songs. They're going to love your presence here in Champaign at the Virginia tomorrow night. What about your mom? Yeah. What happened? How, how did she deal with everything? What happened to her? Oh, man. You know, she she's... She did really well, you know. She it, she had a rough, rough go of it, you know. She lost, uh, she lost her husband. She lost, uh, um, in a way, I was, I was, uh, I lost my sight. There was a lot of stuff that was that was really negative. There were lawsuits for a decade about my father's uh, catalog mm, and mm. and and the rights and and um, you know she started a restaurant and she was very successful with with multiple restaurants and nightclubs, jazz and blues clubs and and um, and you know retired some you know six or seven years ago. She's had some you know cognitive issues in in recent years, but she's happy. And um, and and what more could you hope for? Yeah. Well, and now, AJ, with you as a single father to your two kids, Camille and Elijah, let's talk about how yeah. that's going. Well, it's great. You know, I mean, they're they're grown. My daughter's thirty three, and my son's uh, twenty seven. So, you know, they're in California. I wish I could see them more often, but as as you know, I'm I tour a great deal, and they come and see me, and I I go and see them. And it's great. I just uh, recorded an album with Shooter Jennings in Los Angeles, so it's wonderful to hang out with my my son for a couple weeks in L.A. and go down and visit my daughter in San Diego. It was great. It was great. But you know, I live in Nashville just because it's where uh, I need to be for music, and and they understand, and we we see each other. You know. Every every month and a half, two months. <laughs> yeah. I I wore Jim Croce's album out, Time in a <laughs> Bottle. I got a name. Yeah. I mean, don't mess around with Jim. I mean, le bad, bad Leroy Brown. Oh, this is, the audience is going to be singing along with you, right, AJ? They do every night. It is so much fun, and I encourage it. And, you know, I open up the, the request lines about halfway through the show. Of course, we're going to play the hit songs. I think people know that. Um, I think that it's pretty surprising like that I, I'm taking requests. The whole set changes depending on what the audience wants to hear. Deep cuts, always every show people want to hear. Rapid Roy or Alabama Rain or Lover's Cross or a deeper cut. Uh and 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 we're going to play it for them. You know, we, we the band is amazing, and you, I don't know if you know the legacy of these players, but they've been with me for uh, for a decade. But uh, Gary Malibu who plays drums. He was the drummer on Moon Dance and Tupelo Honey, mm. a bunch of Van Morrison Love records. He was the drummer yeah. for Steve Miller Band for mm. 25 years, starting in '69, and all those records and uh, Joe Walsh and Frampton and blah blah blah. But it's he's wonderful and he you know actually met my dad at the troubadour in 73 and mm. so there's a real connection with the band too and um barard david barard who plays bass with me is with dr john for almost 40 years all of those great new orleans artists that are james bb king folks that i had played with and um we that's that was our connection well, and um and so it's been an amazing experience to have these these seasoned veteran players as part of it um and you know they add add a great deal to it 
AJ Croce, last minute. Um, we're excited about tomorrow night at the Virginia Theater. I think you're going to put on a wonderful show. I, I always be a fan of Jim Croce, but I am a fan of AJ Croce because of your, <laughs> but of your talent, but also what you've gone through, your journey. What, you, what you've done, and to, to just keep walking. Where do you get your strength? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm uh, uh, just I'm cluelessly optimistic. I think I'm pretty realistic. I think I love life. And um, and I think that, you know, we have this rare opportunity to experience it, and uh, at least from my perspective. And so I want to. And I want to make the most of what I have while I'm here. And um, and hopefully make it a better world with, with uh, music the way that the way that I can, the only way I know know how. Well, listen, we're excited for the show. You're going to put on a wonderful program. People are going to love it. It's at the Virginia tomorrow night. People can still get tickets. There's yes, no tickets it's true. The Virginia.org or 356-9063. Farron's has their drink service with wine and beer okay. in the East Lobby. So that's a, a plus also for the adults who are enjoying uh, AJ Croce again Tuesday, April 9th in the Virginia.org. AJ, you're going to love when you walk into the Virginia Beautiful Theater. Place. It's over 100 oh, years old. I can't wait. Yeah, it's ornate. I'm looking and forward fan, to it. The acoustics are great. AJ Croce, thank you so much for being on our program. It's an honor. I, I know it's going to be a fabulous show. Thanks for your time today. Hey, thank you, guys. Have a great one. Superman's cape. You don't spit into the wind. You don't pull a mask off that old Lone Ranger and you don't mess around with Jim. Yeah, his dad died in a plane crash. I don't know the details about it. I just know it was uh, very sad. Mm-hmm. He was only 30. And I was a I was a real Jim Croce fan, and um, yeah, I mean it, Roberto it happened Clemente happened in uh, '73, September 20th, '73, 51 he, years ago when he passed away. Yeah, uh, Roberto Clemente was another amazing figure of our time, Hall of Fame right fielder for Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He died in a plane crash, going giving people stuff they needed, helping in so many ways. So. But Jim Croce, his son AJ, Virginia tomorrow night. You'll hear all these songs. Should be a great show, and I'm glad AJ Croce is continuing the legacy of great music at the Virginia tomorrow night. All right, it is 7:47 as we move right into our sports headlines with Diane Ducey. NCAA women with South Carolina taking down Iowa and Caitlin Clark. 87-75 was the final in the championship game. We also have the men's game tonight with the NCAA tournament. Purdue taking on UConn. So that'll be uh, the Boilermakers are 34-4 and on the season. UConn is 36-3 and on the season. It's really a battle of the big men. Uh, you know, I guess I'm wor- rooting for Zach Eady and I mean, how are we doing that? I, I, I kind of want to lose to the national champion. So Illinois lost to the national champion. They buzzed through everybody. Okay. They've had all these double-digit wins. I know that people are trying to forget the 30-point-in-a-row thing that happened to us. Mm-hmm. But I think UConn is better at every position. I really do. Then then Purdue. I think the big guys... He's, he's certainly the big guy clinging for UConn is right. is is favored to go ahead of Zach Eady in the NBA draft. If that helps you. Oh really? Yeah. No. He's 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 seven two and looks like he's he's so he's much more agile than Zach Eady. Now Zach Eady played a wonderful semifinal game. It'll be interesting when they kick it inside. Then the, you know, here's the pressure. That's a foul. And eh, maybe not tonight because you're going to have to let he, let them both push each other. Otherwise, they're going to foul out. I keep typing in Klingon, and it puts in Klingon from the Star Trek, uh, you know, kind of the villain. Yeah, it's a Klingon. <laughs> I know. Klingon is K-L-I-N-G-O-N. <laughs> I know. It's, it's, even though I'm typing it, C-L-I-N-G-A-N. It's K. He's K-L. But the K, no, he's C. Oh, he is C. Klingon is with well, the K. Well, just put Klingon <laughs> Yukon basketball. I then just it, did. No, it really, and then it came up. Yeah, he's, but, but, it, <laughs> but he's 7 2. I feel that Yukon is. Donovan ta- is his first name. We Yukon outsizes him in every position. I think all of their guards are. I see. And they got a kid. What's his name? Oh, for Pete's sake. They, they've got a guard 
that's supposed to be in the top 10 of the picks. So you, mm. got, you got two potential lottery picks playing against you. No wonder UConn's good. Wow. They've got a lot of players. I think they're better than Purdue. We'll see what happens. You never know. Okay. Well, and if you have any comments, we always love hearing from you. It's 359-2255. I was just trying to claim his tap on the UConn roster to see who you're talking about because it was like you said a buzzsaw when we met him so I do see a lot of uh names here was it a a, a, a taller guy no he was uh, he's a guard Jalen Stewart um keep naming him I'll know the okay, name okay uh, but he's he's a UConn Stephen Castle he's Castle. a freshman Castle wow freshman. he's a freshman yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Six, six lottery pick okay <laughs> No, he's he's amazing. Uh huh. So um yeah, so I think Tristan I don't know. Newton, another I, one. But here's the, if you want to go back to twenty nineteen, look at Virginia. Look at the Virginia. What happened to Virginia? Virginia lost to a sixteen. They went and they got beat in the semifinals of their tournament the next year. I mean, it's identical to Purdue. If Purdue wins this, they have mirrored Virginia of twenty nineteen. Uh huh. Unbelievable. So I, I guess I'm, I'm not unhappy Purdue wins. I'm, I just think UConn's better, and I feel like it's better for me, for my psyche, to say Illinois lost to the national champion. Right. <laughs> Even though we lost to Purdue twice, we can say we lost to the national champion three that's times. That's right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> you and I were talking about uh, John Rahm and how he's wanting uh, Live Golf to do the 72-hole format or something. And just uh, He's getting ready for Augusta, which is coming up at the end of the week here. I'm here. Tiger's on the roster. Tiger is scheduled Pending to play. Pending the play, playoff, or don't you have to qualify or something? Uh, no. Oh. Not when you've won it five times. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay. That's a lifetime <laughs> yeah. exemption. That's one, one thing about the Masters is you got a lifetime exemption. So sometimes it honks some of the young kids out when a 60-year-old guy golf. I see. You ain't winning, fella. So uh, why don't you open it up for this? Okay. Year? Give me Step a aside. shot. But some Here's of these, my club. Some, of these, some, of, the, some of these guys play on when they have no chance. Uh-huh. Tiger's trying to break a record, I think, for most cuts made. Okay. Can he make the cut? He's 48 years old now. Uh-huh. He's, he's certainly had, you know, the car accident was horrific. Right. And all of his injuries. So I obviously, I'm rooting for Tiger. Mm-hmm. I, I don't. I don't know. I hope he makes a cut. I don't know. It's just the game has changed, and he changed it. That's right. So, Okay, well, Cubs beat the L.A. Dodgers 8-1. to one. It was good to come out two, on top. Two out of three now. I know. The best team in baseball are the L.A. Dodgers. So now the Cubs just beat them two out of three. San Diego tonight at 840 over on U.S. 105.9. Challenging Javier. road trip coming up. Mm-hmm. So. Javier Assad up to the mound for the Cubbies. Uh, Miami over St. Louis 10-3, to three, but that was their only win in the series, right? Yeah, Cardinals got two out of three. Mm-hmm. Cardinals yesterday, before the game, were 5-4. and four. That would be the first time they were over 500 since 2022. Wow. So, and this John was, John was I got booed at Bush oh, Stadium when he was announced, shit. and he didn't take it kindly to that. Uh-huh. So, he said something about it, doesn't think that's fair and all that. Uh-oh. So, I, I don't know. It, it, is, it, is, it is thick skin time for a position like that. Yes. No matter what you've done in 20 years, right. winning, one of the winningest franchises. It's what have you done for me today? That's right. Yeah. So maybe don't introduce him in the f- near future until they're solid, huh? Yeah, it can't like feel very way, good. Way. Got two World Series. I know. I, went, know. I think they've had a they had a winning record every year in the 2000s. I thought until last year. I so Bush Stadium, Philadelphia, 6:45 yep. start here on ESPN 93.5. Weather brought to you by Kramer Siding and Window. And they're your premier provider for home improvements when it comes to siding, window, doors. They've got a terrific specials on doors right now. The centerpiece for your home, KramerSiding.com. So again, everyone, let's check weather for East Central Illinois. Champaign and Pan Evans Saturday. It's the big day. The big solar eclipse scheduled to reach its peak here in East Central Illinois shortly after the 2 o'clock hour. Pretty good looking visibilities and ceilings expected. Unlimited in both categories. Weather wise, for the rest of the week, frontal boundary and a system up from the south and southwest. Two of them will generate some glancing rainfall tomorrow, more so the middle part of the week. Modest cool down, another big warm up slated over the course of the weekend next week, too. Uh, we'll see an afternoon high. 
high today across the area that tops out though at around 74 degrees on a gusty south southwesterly wind down to 9 to 51. Tomorrow, maybe a stray shower early and late, more so later in the day, the high to about 71. Occasional showers tomorrow night, low down to 47, and a bit cooler for the day on Wednesday. Some showers both morning and afternoon, an isolated thunderstorm up to 66. Rain in 58 on Thursday, 62 on Friday into the 70s, Saturday, and Sunday. Could be a shower on Saturday. For Steve J Broadcasting, I'm your host, Greg Solge. A tradition of excellence over 150 years in the making. At Busey Bank, we're committed to building relationships that span generations. Wherever your journey in life leads you, we are with you along the way, creating a legacy for you and your family. Busey Bank, building business, growing wealth since 1868, proud to be the official bank of the Fighting Illini, member FDIC. By now, you've all heard the expression, when you turn the key and the car won't run, call 367-9481 for PDR Automotive. They are what's best for your truck or car. They are PDR. But who are they? They, the PDR staff, understand that a name is only as good as the people that represent it. The PDR staff has more than 335 years of combined automotive experience, several employees now on staff for more than 25 years. PDR, more than just a name. Family owned and operated, now celebrating over 50 years in business. You've changed thousands of diapers, played hours of peekaboo and duck duck goose because you'd do anything for your kids. That's why it's so important to protect them with life insurance from State Farm. State Farm agent Kurt Lenschow will help make it easy and affordable to help you protect your family no matter what the future holds. Because for the people you do anything for, life insurance could mean everything. Call State Farm agent Kurt Lenschow in Champaign-Urbana today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. So, solar eclipse day on this April 8th. And you've got to have ISO number something, something. It's the long number that goes with it. Those are safe glasses. Yes. A vision eyewear safety, please. It's yep. not like a regular sunglasses. I'm going to no, rock no, this no with No sunglasses, mine. no welding. No. Hoods, nothing like that. No Ditka aviators no, on this you've, No, I can't do it. And, <laughs> Unless and you have your solars underneath. This is this is one of those where, you know, usually in life, if you do something that harms you, it hurts. Yeah. Your retina doesn't hurt. That's right. But there are people that go to the emergency room after these things, and they've damaged your retinas for life. That means you don't see. That's right. You can't see as well, mm -hmm. or whatever the issue is. Mm -hmm. And it might come back a little, I understand, but not to full. So it, it, I just... Uh. So, and you can make the solar viewing uh, projectors, you know, where you can see it on a piece of paper, the shadow and things like that with the pinhole. And no matter it's just online searches for all of this. No matter what you say, you're just not going to get them all. I and know. So you're bummed to go and you're right. You just wish you could. Mm -hmm. Maybe the, you could put the mask over your eyes. <laughs> Just close your eyes and but put the mask was, over, and then you'll be you're, you'll be good for sunscreen too, <laughs> because you might need a little sunscreen. Anyway, did you got to have the proper glasses? We've determined that my new 2017 that ISO listed are going to be fine. They've not been worn. They yes. look perfect. So we're concluding 20s, even though you can find all kinds of info online. We have some automatist friends. We talked about getting yeah. them on the air today. Yeah. Did you yeah. ever reach out? I did out? ping him. We okay. Have not, not heard back. Okay. So. We will, uh, we will continue on into our 8 o'clock hour. If you have anything to add to the program, you're always welcome to text on the Fisher National Bank text line at 217-359-2255. Feel free to text in. Uh, if you give me a zip code, I'll tell you the totality of your spot. Yes, and pretty much 98% around this area. Well, it's 98.8 here. 98.8 here in downtown Philo. <laughs> Tolono's got a good little view at 98.4. <laughs> Sydney's 98.8. You're correct. Effingham is 100%. Right. Neoga is 99.9. We've got some areas. So it's, it's not far. Just enjoy. Yeah, enjoy and understand there'll be some people out. I know two weeks ago they were talking about this in Unit 7 of parents, you know, making sure they are get there. Are kids getting out? So, some of them are. Some there are, there are some schools that are letting out or doing half day and things like that. So I mean, do you take the kids out and give them these glasses and if they fall off and they look? Well, or you, see, and that so you, was you have liability, One mom you? that I saw at the Tolono Library when we were getting our free glasses there was saying, I'm not going to yank my kid. I want him to see it with all his classmates and with the teacher's monitor 
wearing that they're all wearing their glasses and stuff. So. Yeah, but my question is, what if the kiddo's glasses don't come? You can't control a thousand kids, right? <laughs> okay, here I'm, we I'm go. just saying. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's, it's, it doesn't. Don't school Thanks districts for ever, introducing the lawsuit idea? I'm just saying idea. that the liability <laughs> when you look up at the sun, yes, and I, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> do you really want to do a school event? <laughs> I, I think I'd let the parents take their kids out. Well. Okay. Because that's the li- then the parents are in charge versus the school got sued because the kids didn't have their glasses on properly and there was a pinhole and you didn't check that. And- no, dogs and cats sleeping together, mass hysteria. Where's our Bill Murray oh, from Groundhog Day? Somewhere. All right. Okay. Well, we're back after the news. It's coming up on 8 o'clock. I know. Superintendents have to think about I stuff I know like that. that. Solar Eclipse yeah. Day, baby. Here we go. It's April 8. Good morning. ESPN 93.5, 8 o'clock. You're listening to WSJK ESPN 93.5, Tuscola, Champaign-Urbana. You're home for the St. Louis Cardinals. He doesn't want a federal abortion law. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News. Former President Trump has detailed his abortion policy about seven months before a rematch with President Biden, saying now that the Supreme Court has undone a woman's right to abortion. The states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both. And whatever they decide must be the law of the land. The presumptive GOP presidential nominee posting this video to Truth Social. It must be remembered that the Democrats are the radical ones on this position because they support abortion up to and even beyond the ninth month. Elsewhere in the video, Trump also highlighting his action while in office, which eventually led to the abolition of Roe versus Wade, the most influential abortion ruling this country has seen in decades. That's Fox's Brooke Singman. Now, that remains a big campaign issue for Democrats who blame Trump appointees for that ruling and have successfully blocked abortion bans in several states. President Biden's found another way around a Supreme Court ruling that blocked his massive student loan forgiveness plan last year. He'll go to Wisconsin today, touting more debt relief for millions more Americans. Americans. The White House is going to try to forgive loan balances for those who have up to $20,000 more than they originally borrowed because of higher interest rates, and it would cancel loans automatically for people who are eligible for public service loan forgiveness. That's Fox's Mark Meredith. Another issue on a Boeing jet. A Southwest Airlines flight had to turn around after takeoff in Denver yesterday when an engine cover flew off and hit a wing. Nobody was hurt, but the passengers got to Houston three hours late after having to get on a different plane. A lot of Americans will put on special glasses this afternoon and look right at the sun as the moon eclipses it. I'm hoping to get some interesting shots of during the totality. We missed the one in 2017 that came through our town. Looked it up and we we're like, okay, well, the next one is in 2024. We're going to Arkansas. They're in Little Rock, one of the areas where it'll be a full eclipse and a 100-plus mile path of totality stretching from Texas to Maine. There won't be another one in the U.S. till 2044. America's listening to Fox News. Donald Trump Jr. here. Since January of 2021, the cost of living has increased by 17.9%. You can't get that money back, but you can stop your losses by diversifying into a gold IRA from my friends at Birch Gold Group. To learn more, get your free info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word SHELTER to 989898. That's SHELTER to the number 989898 to get your free info kit from Birch Gold now. Message and data rates may apply. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. The new Trump abortion policy statement comes after a big weekend fundraiser. A well-attended fundraising dinner on Saturday night at President Trump's home in Palm Beach raised more than $50 million. Politico reports the former president hosted nearly 120 guests for dinner and speeches, and those guests were asked to donate as much as 800000 to attend. The fundraising comes just as the Biden campaign has been touting how much more they've raised than the former president in Broward County, Florida. Eben Brown, Fox News. Country star Morgan Wallen is facing felony charges in Nashville. He was booked then released early this morning after Wallen was arrested late last night for reckless endangerment, accused of throwing a chair off a rooftop Nashville bar. It landed a few feet away from a couple of police officers six stories below. It's sentencing day for an actor in New York facing up to a year in prison. 
Jonathan Major's star was on the rise. He had a Marvel film and a lead in a franchise spinoff and was coming off a featured role in Creed 3 opposite Michael B. Jordan. But his career came to a screeching halt when he was found guilty of misdemeanor assault in the third degree, recklessly causing physical injury, as well as harassment in the second degree in a domestic violence case related to an alleged fight between him and former girlfriend Grace Jabari in New York City last year. Michelle Polino. Fox News. On Wall Street, stock futures are up slightly, coming off the worst week for the Dow in more than a year. The March Madness ends tonight with the NCAA National Men's Title Game. Purdue will try to prevent Connecticut from repeating as champs. In women's basketball, South Carolina finished a perfect undefeated season, beating Iowa 87-75 on ABC. Caitlin Clark, if you're out there, you are one of the goats of our games that we appreciate you. South Carolina coach Dawn Staley. Clark, the all-time leading college scorer, had 30 points in her final game for Iowa. I'm Dave Anthony, and this is Fox News. Here's a look at local news. An Urbana family demanding answers. They say their middle school student was seriously hurt at school. The family also claiming there's been no communication about the incident from the school district. Russ Hughes, a student at Urbana Middle School, knocked out of his wheelchair, being transferred to the bus, suffering a neck fracture due to the fall. Illinois lawmakers hope to pass a plan to create new protections for library staff. It follows a recent rise in violent threats. There were at least 22 bomb threats made against libraries across the state last year, requiring response from local and state police. Sponsors and advocates told the House Judiciary Committee that lawmakers should strive to protect and keep open the state's libraries. Champaign School Board of Education whittling down the list of applicants for the two vacancies. All of the finalists will be publicly interviewed at a special meeting tomorrow. It'll start at 5 and take place at the Mellon Administrative Center on South New Street. Regional superintendent will choose candidates if the board cannot agree. You're up to date from the Stevie J Broadcasting Newsroom. I'm Jim Miller. All right, it is uh, Solar Eclipse Day. Yes, it the is. The moon, Greg Solier, covers the sun. That's right. Okay. I think I got that right. Is Greg here? Yeah, he's there. The moon covers yeah, the sun. Yes, I am. Right. Hello, 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 hello. The, 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 the totality yes. around here is right at 2 o'clock. And uh, we're talking if you really got a long... Two, I bet you it's about 2, 205, 207, something right in, All right, in, 205. In there, right, really. And then you, you you might get, depending on where you are, get, what, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes of totality. It goes pretty dark around here because we had a nice sunny day today. Yeah, we so did. So that's awesome. So, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're, um, we're in today and people are talking about it. And again, we're saying it as many times as we can that you got to have the special glasses the retina doesn't hurt. Yep. If you hurt your retina, it really doesn't. You don't know it, and then all of a sudden you're in the emergency room and your your sight is impaired, mm -hmm. and it doesn't come back. Yep, yep, yep. To where you want it to come. And you back. can't just easily put your phone up there, look through your phone, and do it the same way. I believe there are issues. No. With where you have to have correct solar uh, filters because you're still getting you know the surrounding area of the sun, Corona, I believe. Uh, you know, uh, so I'm not an expert in that, but you know, the phone itself will not work. Yeah, so, don't don't do from a safety standpoint. I, I wouldn't have thought of that. It's but like that, like you're taking a picture right. of it or something. No, I yes, wouldn't. Yes, exactly, I, exactly. I, I yeah. wouldn't do any you know um, rigged kind of thing for this. It's your it's your eyes. Uh -huh. So you got to be very very careful in, in this very historic day. So it's our meteorologist Greg Solier brought to you by Kurt Lenschel. State Farm Insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Watts Copy Systems, they offer cost-efficient solutions to busy offices. If you want a free evaluation, Watts Copy Systems, 217-352-0428. Meteorologist Greg Soye, pretty good looking April 8th, my friend. Yeah, it's right here in East Central Illinois. Skies clear. Still some uh, fog advisories as you venture to our south, Edgar County, uh, through Coles County. That does extend down uh, from uh, Effingham area southward uh, to and around Mankata and uh, the Carbondale area at the uh, current time. There, that is in effect until nine o'clock this morning. And on the uh, infrared channel, that's where you're able this time of the day to pick up the high and some mid-level cloud. Uh, a couple of patches are situated uh, a little bit north of. Uh, I-64 actually closing in on, on Carbondale right now. A bit of a break in, in some mid-level cloud around the Ozarks beginning to work its way uh, from southwest to northeast. So wouldn't be surprised if there may be some obscuration to a complete full look at that thing. Uh, there, here, I think just a little high-level cirrus if we get anything at all. Um, 10, 20 maybe percent coverage on the horizon, uh, horizon to horizon, if you will. That stuff 
will be based at around 25,000 feet. So we here, despite not making 100% at 98%, nothing to complain about with that in mind on the old solar eclipse. And apart from that, and that little dimming and darkening of the sky, southwest breeze, and probably last time we had this 70 years ago, we actually lost three or four degrees in temperatures during the course of the afternoon. In between that, we'll see a late day high at around 74 and a gusty southwesterly wind, increasing clouds on I-51. We still carry a threat for a shower early and late in the day tomorrow, mainly morning, I should say, and late afternoon. Front comes through, stalls on out. Best chances are south of Champaign County at 71. A couple of showers, 66 on Wednesday. More widespread rains Thursday at 58, bouncing back into the low to mid-60s Friday. 70s for the weekend, matter of fact, close to 80 Sunday and Monday. A couple of thunderstorms due in for early next week as well. For Stephen T. Broadcasting, I'm Beatles, Greg Solgan. All right, so John Calipari, head coach Kentucky, does not feel the love. He has left the campus. Yes, John Calipari, Kentucky coach, has left for Arkansas. And so, now what? Now what? One of the top five blue bloods in the nation is open. So you go to the list, and you go to the best coaches in America, and you say, how do I get him? Number one, Bill Self, Kansas. Uh-huh. If you go to Lawrence, Kansas, on Naismith Drive... James Snaith has invented basketball. Yes. Mr. Naismith. A legend. So you could go to Bill Self and write Bill Self on your check and hand it to him and say, fill it in. He could get... Interesting negotiation tactic. I like that. $15 million a year? Wow. $20 million a year? Would he come? Number two, Tom Izzo. Uh, I think Tom said he's 60-something yeah. years old. I don't think he's going anywhere. I thought he was older than that. Ooh, number three could be a thing. Kelvin Sampson took Houston to all that ooh, known cheater. But now that they've legalized cheating, no problem. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, Kelvin Sampson, that would be interesting. That's, okay. Mark Few, would he leave Gonzaga? I After see. all these years, would you get Mark Few to come to Lexington, Kentucky? Okay. Interesting. He's 61. Or how about Baylor Scott Drew? Hmm. hmm, he's a good one. He's a really good man and a good coach. Virginia's Tony Bennett. Probably not, even though he won a national title because they don't like his offense. Kentucky does a lot of running I up and see. down. Uh, oh, how about how about Dan Hurley, Connecticut? I see. Would he go to Kentucky? That's interesting. Huh. Um, Who's making this list up? This is CBS panel of experts. Okay. How about Rick Patino, who's like 85 years old? He's already been to Kentucky. Right. He got me to have to go on a billboard because he was a coach in Kentucky they lost Arizona. I see. Billboard and diapers He's are lost. 71, event. Rick Patino. Matt Painter. Uh huh. With hmm. Purdue, right? Mm hmm. A long drive. Uh huh. Ma- Mick Cronin used to be Cincinnati. Now he's UCLA's coach. He's uh, interesting. Eric Musselman just took the new job. He went from Arkansas to USC, which has caused the opening for John Calipari. Okay. Ooh, Bruce Pearl. Eesh, maybe. Uh, Tommy Lloyd, Arizona. Randy Bennett, St. Mary's. Shaka Smart, Marquette. Shaka Smart. I'm surprised that wasn't mentioned earlier. Oh, Creighton's uh, Greg McDermott. Creighton's been good. Wow, that's a that's an interesting name. Uh, how about uh, Nate Oates, who just took Alabama to the Final Four? Let me say it. Brad Underwood. <laughs> Just get it out of the way. And we move on. Um, uh, how about Brian Dutcher, San Diego State? They've been really good. Anyway, the uh, conversation begins, and I, I don't know if the athletic director of Kentucky really made that list and kept it in his pocket because they had him signed for life. John Calipari had a lifetime contract, and doesn't Bill Self? I mean, it's a, like a lifetime. Right. It's uh, it's so what happens. What is the Arkansas Razorbacks offering someone like John Calipari well, to leave Kentucky? Well, he a he didn't want to be there anymore because he didn't feel they wanted him. Right. And so I think the, just not feeling the love. When you get eight or ten McDonald's All Americans, here's what I think happens: you roll the ball out there, and they pick it up and they kind of do their thing. Mm-hmm. Well, why don't you run this plate? Okay. One, two, three. Wildcats, and they go do their thing. <laughs> Whatever. He's been there for 15 years. Yep. Uh, I think he's has he won a national title. I don't even know. I know they had early exits like four years in a row, 
And that doesn't play when you're paying a guy like that. And I think they said if I fire him, I got to pay him $33 million to fire him or make him the athletic director. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was something absolutely nuts. So he didn't feel the love. He just found another suitor, and that was Arkansas. And Arkansas had to have a bunch of money for NIL because you can't go down there without that. Mm -hmm. Because all of a sudden they're not coming. And why do they come? Because he has a lot of money. Right. So he's had kind of the thing going on. He got kind of in trouble at UMass. Then he kind of, kind of, kind of got in trouble when the guy that played for the Bulls at Memphis. They had all kinds of issues there. And then he went to Kentucky. Okay. So I don't think John Calipari before it was legal to cheat. I see. I don't think he knew how it worked. I, I think he had an infrastructure that kind of One of, of those him. kind of culture he things. Did, he, well, he just didn't know. Kind it, of the Blagojevich action. It's called just... plausible <laughs> deniability. If you have people that kind of do that and you don't know, really you don't. Right. You really don't. You can pass the lie detector test. Mm-hmm. You have no idea. But it's been going on for a while. So yeah, that's, that's, that's my right. theory anyway. Anyway, so that's kind of big basketball news. We got uh, Caitlin Clark going to the pros. It'll be the Indiana WNBA team that'll draft her. Uh, will she be that great in the WNBA? I've never really considered looking at that, but now I will. I mean, she's really done great things for women's sports. No huh? question. She's elevated the game. She brought sellouts. They will not be the sellouts that were. She did that. It was a blip. Who's the next Caitlin Clark? I don't know. That's right. So, uh, South Carolina beat Iowa 87-75 yesterday. I feel like you had a uh, sound clip about this earlier on. It was kind of cool that the South Carolina coach acknowledged Caitlin Clark in their championship yeah, speech. Yeah, she said she's going to be one of the goats of all time, mm-hmm. which is keeps her out of controversy by calling her the goat. But here's a little sound from the end of the Caitlin Clark era. Perfection with a touch of sweet redemption. Undefeated South Carolina has won its third national championship. And Caitlin Clark says goodbye to college basketball. Yeah, I'm sad we lost this game, but I'm also so proud of myself. I'm so proud of my teammates. I'm so proud of this program. Um, There's a lot to be proud of, but, you know, there's going to be tears. It is sad that this is all over. Yep. Okay. That was fun. You know, uh, Purdue and UConn are tonight, and that's on TBS with an 820 tip. So take note of all that. We've already talked about Calipari leaving Kentucky for Arkansas. And Augusta is trending Yeah. as we look at Rom calling for Liv to play 72-hole tournaments. Also, Tiger in line to play the Master, eyeing cut record. So those are some of the trends on ESPN. You know, with St. Louis losing to Miami, we, I don't think, played the Redbird oh, recap yet. I did not. So hold on, hold is, on. is that yeah. going to take a while? Nope, I can do I other things. Here we go. Okay. With Ricky Orton, I'm John Rooney. Yesterday, the Cardinals were going for a sweep of the Miami Marlins, but the Marlins had other ideas. They scored six in the first inning, one in the seventh, on the way to a 10-3 win, their first win in 2024. Rough start for Kyle Gibson. He gave up two three run home runs in the first inning gave up another run in the second inning the good news is he settled down and went deep enough into the game the Cardinals only had to get three innings out of their bullpen and the Cardinals will play the Philadelphia Phillies tonight with Miles Michaelis making the start Nolan Gorman hit a home run in the fifth inning it went off Jazz Chisholm's glove over the wall but the second home run of the day cleared the center field fence by plenty a two run shot in the ninth it's good to see him get going and that was after a long rain delay he hit the second home run worth the wait uh, Gorman when he gets hot the home runs come the Cardinals and the Phillies tonight at Bush Stadium 645 we're on the air at 550 Ricky will have the lineups at 635 Michaelis against Turnbull The Cardinals Hall of Fame and Museum is the official home of Cardinals history. For those who want to be a part of one of the sport's greatest collections in the world, museum membership is the way to go. Cardinals Museum membership provides unlimited admission for one year, exclusive Hall of Fame bobbleheads, discounts, ticket offers, and more, in addition to supporting exhibit design and artifact restoration. There are a variety of membership levels, including our ultimate level of membership. For more info and to join, go to cardinals.com slash membership. Well, this message from Busey to... Today and all week is America Saves Week. Widely recognized national campaign with thousands of organizations joined together to collectively encourage their communities to focus on individual financial wellness. Celebrate America Saves Week with tips from Busey. Save automatically. Say, hey, 20 bucks out of everything. Every time. 
Save for the unexpected. Nice to have a little little nest egg of thousand dollars or more. Save to retire. I'm not that old. Well, that'll make it even better. Save by reducing debt, particularly pesky credit cards and the interest you're paying on that stuff. And save as a family. Your family will really learn if you show them the way. Uh, Busey can sit and help you. You can go to Busey.com forward slash financial pathways and get all kinds of good information. Invest in your financial future. Go to Busey.com and get started or stop by one of their many convenient locations today. For solutions to your personal business and wealth management needs, Busey, member FDIC. We have a Stever today. It is from Long Branch Steakhouse. We're looking for people that have never won this. It's, you might have been there before, but you haven't gotten a Stever certificate. Mm -hmm. It's 50 bucks. And I'm handing it to people that have never won this. It's 217-359-2255. If you want to text it for information or simply, if you're not a member, go to Go Stevers and sign up. You can click on uh, enter. It goes to GoStever.com for Long Branch. That's your offer today. Long Branch in downtown Gifford, Wednesday through Saturday, 5 to 9. All right, going to talk about Festival of Quilts Cunningham. Yes. That'll be next. And Dr. Steve Leon, optometrist extraordinaire, a little bit on the solar eclipse today. Lots of sunshine. High 76, yes. 53 right now. 820. And this is the Fox Business Report. J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon is warning that interest rates could soar to 8% in coming years. Wars in Ukraine and the Middle East could amplify economic stress. Though Dimon says the U.S. economy has remained resilient, he also says artificial intelligence could be transformational. Boeing shares are down more than 1%. The FAA will probe the loss of an engine cover on a Boeing 737-800 flight, leaving Denver over the weekend. It did return safely to Denver International Airport. Spirit Airlines shares are losing ground. Spirit will delay the delivery of Airbus planes and will furlough 260 pilots starting in September. Spirit Airlines says it needs to improve its financial position. That's your Fox Business Report. I'm Ginny Koselda, invested in you. Get all of your favorite Fox News podcasts ad-free on Apple Podcasts with Fox News Podcasts Plus. From Trey Gowdy, the Fox News Rundown, Will Kane, Brian Kilmeade, and so much more. Go to foxnewspodcasts.com for all the details. The Fox News Rundown, a contrast of perspectives you won't hear anywhere else. Your daily dose of news twice a day. Featuring insight from top newsmakers, reporters, and Fox News contributors. Listen and subscribe now by going to foxnewspodcasts.com. At Pards in Urbana, the boots just keep on coming. They're known for their huge collection of men's cowboy boots, women's cowgirl boots, kids' boots, and even shoes. If you're searching for top footwear brands, look no further than Pards. They carry a wide variety, including Ariat, Dan Post, Smoky Mountain, Roper, Double H, and more. And if socks or accessories are what you need, they've got all your high-quality essentials. Since 1968, Pards has been serving their customers with high-quality merchandise. And if you haven't been to Pards in a while, a lot has changed. Go check them out just off University Avenue in Urbana. Tabman's Towing team of experienced tow professionals is seeking others with CDLs, previous tow experience, and or strong interest in serving others. Please visit our career page at tabmanstowing.com. Urbana Park District needs you this summer. Crystal Lake Family Aquatic Center is now open, and a few more lifeguards are needed. No experience? No problem. Aquatic staff will train you and get you certified. This is a great job for those 15 years of age or older and adults looking for a side gig or seasonal job. To apply, go to urbanaparks.org and fill out an application. If you have questions, call the Park District, 217-367-1544. Urbana Park District, you belong here. Urbanaparks.org. This is Starla Carr with Provident Financial Group. There's no one-size-fits-all retirement plan. Finding the right plan for you depends on many factors. The good news is we can help you improve your retirement readiness, whatever your situation. Contact us today at 217-366-3456 or find us online at ProvidentFinancialGroupLLC.com. Securities and advisory services offered through Commonwealth Financial Network. Member FINRA SIPC, a registered investment advisor. ESPN 93.5, Ginger Mills, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Cunningham Children's Home. I thought we just talked about Festival of Quilts like a week ago. <laughs> what? Man. Well, it is that time of year again, but you might be thinking, we, you know, the last few years we had festival in June. And this year, we moved it back to its original time frame, 
which is this Friday and Saturday, April 12th and 13th. That's awesome. And people that don't know what this is, this is a wonderful thing you do. And, you know, legendary yeah. when it comes to Cunningham Children's Home, uh, giving the kids who are up for adoption a quilt when they first come into the home for residential right. care, right? Yes, that's right. Every child who comes to Cunningham um, in our residential treatment center gets a quilt for their bed. And then 20 years ago, we started the signature fundraiser that celebrates that tradition. So this year is the 20th annual Festival of Quilts, where all funds raised help uh, benefit and meet the critical needs of the youth and families that Cunningham served this year. So many great quilters in the area, and it's amazing, this show. Uh, describe the scene for someone who's never been. Sure. So we really transform a couple buildings on campus to be a display of, this year we have nearly 250 quilts for mm. sale, ranging from a, a wall hanging or a lap quilt all the way up to a king size quilt. Um, different price points. We have quilts under $100. We have quilts um, <clears throat> maybe hovering around the $900 mark. But really, Diane and CV, these are like works of art. Mm -hmm. And then people who find out about our mission uh, to help children thrive and families flourish, and, and they love the story behind the quilt. A lot of people will come in and uh, find one that fits just perfectly in, in a bedroom or on the back of a couch or on a wall, and then they end up purchasing and taking it home. All right, for people that so have just tuned in, never tuned in to our show before, uh, what, what does Cunningham do and what is the mission? Well, our mission is to see every child thrive, and we do that through our residential treatment program, uh, we're kids who come from DCFS because they've have experienced trauma, abuse, and neglect. We have three special education programs. Two of them are, are day schools where kids from uh, probably about 10 to 12 different school districts come and uh, receive their day-to-day um, -day education at Cunningham uh, through Circle Academy with the goal of having them get back up to academic grade level so then they could leave Cunningham and go back to their home school district. Mm. And then we have a whole host of community-based programs in which we're working with youth and families in nine counties throughout East Central Illinois who are experiencing difficult life situations. Right. Like this is therapy that you can get. For instance, is it Hope Springs off Devonshire? Yes, yep. Yes. That's our outpatient behavioral health clinic that we started in 2015. We have nine full-time therapists uh, we get a lot of referrals from the schools, from um, private practices, from word of mouth, where we're working with youth and families who are working through trauma or some kind of difficult life situation in which they need some um, intensive therapy and some coping mechanisms and some resources to help keep families together and manage through their crisis. How do you know your work? I mean, do you keep track of kids when they leave? And, and so you have like, okay, this is really going, or you tweak something. I mean, how do you know? Oh, sure. Yeah, so we have to, you know, as, since we're licensed by the state, we always have to be measuring our mm -hmm. outcomes. Um, I do know that last year, um, our goal for our youth when they leave our residential program is that they have um, are at a point where they can manage their mental and their emotional behaviors and they can... Uh, step down into an environment that's less restrictive, mm -hmm. whether that means something like a group home environment, returning to family, maybe as Diane mentioned, maybe they're into foster care or they, or, or they move into an adoption. 100% um, of the youth in our residential treatment program last fiscal year, when they left Cunningham, they stepped down into something less restrictive. So I, th I think that says a lot wow, for the great. caring staff yeah. and the interventions that we are, are providing and this Festival of Quilts is a great way for the community to come around and be able to support the youth and programs that Cunningham serves because, you know, the cost of care um, mm. and what we get from our referring resources um, does not equal the same. <laughs> yeah, and so right, this fundraiser right. helps us to provide those critical needs. Okay, Ginger Mills, Cunningham Children's Home, Tapman's Toy and Phone Line. So people, I think you just get in your mind, I'm going to get $500, and you're going to get a heck of a quilt for $500. Or maybe you say, I'm going to give you $1,000, you got the best quilt. Well, and I, mean, I come amazing. with some cash so I can enjoy the bake sale. Well, there's that. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. If quilts aren't your thing, I know that there's something here for you because, as Diane mentioned, we have a, a bake sale with a lot of mm. home baked goodies. Mm. We have a gift shop with a lot of handcrafted items. Um, we have a uh, centerpieces room where people have created 
these really fun, whimsical uh, centerpieces. Some of them are themed around a holiday. Some are, you know, great for your home decor, uh, good vibes on your door, like, you know, your front door of your house. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think it's really unique that since we have this fundraiser on our campus, we also offer tours. So a lot of people will come, you know, not very often are we open to the public, but we are able to um, offer tours on the hour where we walk around campus, we talk about the hope and healing that's happening at Cunningham, we talk about how the community can support us, how they can get involved with volunteering and participating in our events. And so it's just a great two days. And the cool thing is we're also on the Boneyard um, Arts Festival Tour this year. Nice. So. Um, you know, if you're going to make a day on Friday or Saturday of seeing some different uh, locations for the Boneyard, make sure to include Cunningham on that as well. All right, Ginger, we Terrific. appreciate everything. Again, your website is? Cunninghamhome.org, and the hours are Friday 9 to 5 and Saturday 9 to 2. Hey, listen, I hope Nicely it goes done. really well. hope you raise way more money than you expect. You guys deserve it. Congratulations. Keep, your up, keep up your good work. Thanks so much. Appreciate we it. Appreciate it. Oh, you bet. Cunninghamhome.org, ESPN 93.5. Got to check the solar eclipse with Dr. Steve Leon next with eye care and watch out stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's next. Hi, I'm Tyler Weaver, president of Carpet Weaver's Flooring and Furniture Gallery. It's time to come home to Carpet Weaver's. We don't want you to just like your new floors. We want you to love them. From waterproof floors and carpet to furnitures and design advice, we've got a team of experts on your side. We'll get you the best price and the best quality products. And complete your home with furniture and accessories. Buy it all with free financing, too. Come home to Carpet Weavers, where floors, furniture, and family meet. Fox News, I'm C.J. Papa. Former President Trump reveals his abortion policy this morning. My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. Mr. Trump in a video posted on his Truth Social platform. It's known as the Brickyard, but the only race at the fame venue today takes place in the sky. People starting to shuffle into the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. If that picture is indicative of the way this day is going to go, then I think we're in luck uh, for that 306 total eclipse. Three minutes and 51 seconds is the projected time it may last. That is Fox Weathers. Robert Ray at the Fame Speedway. America's listening to Fox News. Here's a look at local news. Well, the Champaign School Board of Education with whittling down the list of applicants for the two vacancies. All the finalists will be publicly interviewed at a special board meeting tomorrow. It meets at 5. It'll take place at the Mellon Administrative Center on New Street. Regional superintendent will choose candidates if the board can't agree. Family of the boy who allegedly sexually assaulted by a substitute teacher has hired attorneys to represent them in court. Chicago-based law firm confirming they were retained by the family and they'll be pursuing legal action against not only Allie Bardfield of Decatur Schools. Attorneys accused the school district of failing to ensure the safety and well-being of its students. Marching Illini celebrating the birthday of a former band member who played well before their time. Richard Coggle turned 107 years old over the weekend. Friday, some of the band members surprised him with a personal concert at his house. Coggle is the oldest living Marching Illini alum at 107 years old. You're up to date from the Stevie J Broadcasting Newsroom. I'm Jim Miller. Hello again, everyone. Let's check weather for Central Illinois. Champagne event of this Saturday. Here it is. The big historic solar eclipse with a totality percentage of about 97.7% shortly after about the 2 o'clock hour beginning the phase around the noontime hour and extending a little bit past 3. Good visibilities and uh, ceilings that will be based on strictly high-level cirrus clouds, perhaps in some areas at around 25,000 feet. Otherwise, closer to the ground, uh, mostly sunny 
mid to late afternoon, as well as this morning after some areas of fog, uh, high to about 74, 51 tonight. Could be a stray shower early, more so lately than tomorrow at 71. Some scattered showers at 66 on Wednesday. Thursday, widespread rains across the area at 58. We'll dry it out with a gusty wind in 62 on Friday. Big warm up for the weekend, much of next week as well. Wetter as well, but that'll be the last of it. 71 on Saturday, highs near 80 by Monday. For Stevie J Broadcasting, I'm Hydrocious Greg Solgay. What does the Apple Dumplin' restaurant offer? The Apple Dumplin' serves up homemade favorites. Fried chicken, sandwiches, delicious chicken and noodles, beef and noodles, meatloaf, all kinds of comfort food. And of course, the Apple Dumplin' with a scoop of ice cream, perhaps. Visit this community treasure if you're looking for great people, great atmosphere, and great food in Urbana. The Apple Dumplin' Restaurant, open Tuesdays through Saturdays with a lunch buffet on Sundays. On High Cross Road in Urbana, you can look up the Apple Dumplin' on Facebook. Here's another home improvement insight from Kramer Siding and Window, a proud member of Prairie Home Alliance. A new front door can instantly upgrade the look of your home and make it more energy efficient. The Kramer Siding and Window team can also install French doors to your deck or patio welcoming the outside in, or storm doors for an extra layer of protection against the elements. The estimate is free, financing is available, and the business is local. Schedule your beautiful new door today and save 25%. Isn't it Call us, click on KramerSiding.com or visit the showroom in Champaign. Tapman's Towing reminds all Illini fans, when you're on the road and see lights flashing, move over and use caution passing. Let's all get home safe tonight. Think warm thoughts and get your pool plans ready now. Buy a membership at the Urbana Park District Crystal Lake Park Family Aquatic Center. There's a huge discount for individual and family memberships. Go in person to the Phillips Recreation Center or the Urbana Indoor Aquatic Center. Call 217-367-1544. Check out the pool with the Urbana Park District. You belong here. Urbanaparks.org. Yes, it is Solar Eclipse Day. Well, it's a marvelous night for a moon dance with the stars up above in your eyes. Well, the moon goes in front of the and sun. A fabulous night to make romance need the cover of Fatality found in Effingham at 100%. Milo, Illinois is 98.8. The sound of the breeze. Delano is 98.4. That's pretty good. <laughs> Stevie. Sydney is 98.8. Okay. All right, the Stevie J. You know the Top optometrists in the world. And on the Stevie J top optometrist in the world is Dr. Steve Leon. Congratulations, Steve. Hey, good morning, Stevie J. How are you? Nope. I didn't know about the world. No, I got it right. So hey, no, no, this is right here. I got it right in front of me. <laughs> Thanks for being on, Steve. Numeral Uno. I can. Uh, let me do my imitation of Steve Leon. Better one. Better two. Better three. Better four. No, that's okay. Take your time. <laughs> one of the most patient human beings on earth. How are you, buddy? I'm doing fine, thank you. Okay, so to, and a poppy to Reese Hogan. Reese Hogan is is a <laughs> yeah, she had to get Reese in here somehow. Uh, she's a star. Mm. She is a no, she is, love 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 love. She Reese. is uh, Reese Hogan is would what you would be get all your nil money and give it to Reese. She's a fabulous junior at the U of I she's and works be, here at Stevie J Broadcasting. She's going to be a big timer mm. in, in anything she yeah. does. Okay, Appreciate so the, the moon <laughs> comes in front of the sun. It happens every. You know, whenever. Whenever. The next one is 2044 or yeah. something. Steve Leon will be mm-hmm. doing one-arm push-ups in 2044. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> okay, so um, we know about the damage to retina. You can't feel pain in your retina on events like this. So if I look up and I won't feel it, but I could damage it for life, is that right? That is correct. Um, depending depends on the individual. It uh, depends on how um, what path you're in when you're viewing the, the eclipse. Um and it, it, the annular, uh, where it's a total, I think it was, what, a 70-mile path? Or, um, mm-hmm. That's the safest spot. But we tell people, don't take the chance. Right. Um, it's, it's a, a very cool phenomenon. Uh, some of us only see it once in our lifetime. I mean, I can remember the, uh, the old shoebox day, which mm-hmm. is still a, a very safe technique today. Um, but, the, but I tell people the safest way to watch it 
it's on TV and, or the internet. There you go. Because well, somebody's going to okay. get great pictures of it. Now, we have these funky glasses that look like yep. you get in a movie 3D thing. And so I found seven or eight of them in my drawer, never used from 2017. They're ISO rated, all that stuff. Are those still safe, do you think? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, um, use them. Uh, they say that uh, the older they are, the more they don't filter out mm. uh, the infrared, the uh, thermal radiation that comes from the eclipse. So, no, I, I wouldn't okay. use them, but they've got to be sure they're ISO 123, 123 2. Yep. And it's put forth by uh, you know, the International Organization of Standardization. Well, I might, um, I might drive by the Casey, see if I got okay. any. Because I, <laughs> well, I got the old ones, and I'm not going to. I'm not goofing with this. I, I need my no, eyesight. No, no, really, you, yeah. you shouldn't. And and you know, I mean, Chittick. I think Chittick Family Eye Care bought like fifteen thousand and gave them out to uh, all patients, and then some library schools. Mm -hmm. um, and they are up to date um, and standard. Chittick got any extra? I'm sure they do. Huh? <laughs> then sure I can drive do. by Chittick and say, Steve Leon sent me? Yeah, yeah. We'll Does that mean word. anything to you? <laughs> uh, all right, well, that's good to know because I know stuff ages. And, and again, this is one of those deals where I don't care if I miss it. I'm not goofing with my retina. I don't, I'm, no. I'm just not. So. Mm. Well, it's, it's a lifetime thing, too. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. so we're, I mean, you look at sunburns, you look at welders flash, you, you get that intense heat. And you know, later day, you feel the burn. You get the skin peeling, etc. But with those, it doesn't get to the retina. Uh, like mm. solar radiation, it, it causes the burn to the retina. And if you just envision going outside, magnifying glass with the sun, with a piece of paper, and you focus that light right on that piece of paper, what happens to the paper? It burns. Mm. And that's what happens at the macula. And that's where color vision takes place. Um, and the solar retinopathy can create that defect. Now, it doesn't cause blindness. Now, that's a little misnomer there. You won't go completely blind, but your vision will be impaired. Huh. And again, depending on the individual, uh, depending on how long they look at it, um, the color vision can be altered. You'll have spots in your central vision, mm. and you won't be able to see through. It's like looking through a screen, and that doesn't go away. What's your shoebox that's thing again? Maybe, maybe I got a pair of new shoes. I can use the shoebox. What right. did you guys used to do? It's some kind of Pinnacle? solar viewing um, yeah. projector. Yeah, basically you just put put a little hole in one end of the shoebox and you put it over your shoulder while you're not looking at the sun, and it projects to that little hole and shows on the other end of the shoebox uh, the little uh, eclipse. Boom. What's wrong with that? That's, that's back in the day. That's way yeah. back before but, but, the eclipse class. Again, there are going to be a million pictures of it, too. At 210, there'll be all kinds of pictures of the total eclipse. You're right. Yeah. And and it's just like going to the national championship game tonight. I can't see a thing. I just watch on TV. Come on, man. Well, and, and again, when you when you say that, it doesn't it doesn't happen immediately. Um, you may have weird vision yeah. if you did look at it, which I hope people don't. Um, but you may have weird off vision for the first four hours or so, but you wake up the next morning, mm. that's when you see the holes in your vision, mm. blotchy vision, um, like I said, like looking through a screen. Um, yeah, I mean, what I, what I, and I got a bunch of them for the uh, St. Thomas School here in, in Philo and, and told them, okay, here's what you've got to do. You put the glasses on first, you look down, don't look up at the sun, um, you watch the kids, be sure they've got them on, mm -hmm. kind of keep an eye on them. I mean, adults can manage the glasses by themselves, but kids, not so much. Um, and I said, be sure you practice with them on how to put them on, mm. what not to do, what to do, and just be sure they have the glasses on first, look them down at the floor or the ground, and then look up. Uh -huh. um, but always keep them on. I mean, okay. vision's precious. Somebody texted in, Mike's asking, if I have my welding goggles, can I use them? There's another thing. A lot of times people double up on the welding uh, filter. I wouldn't take a chance. Um, uh, it's just, it's not worth it. No, um, no. It's just not worth it at all. And people say, well, I can wear two pairs of sunglasses. No, you can't. Mm -hmm. um, it will not filter the infrared and that thermal radiation that the uh, uh, eclipse is putting on. This isn't one of those where I think I got enough to get to town for gas. You don't gamble on the eyesight. No. You just don't do no, that. No, not at all. It's not, not at all. Yeah. 
it, when you burn it, you burn it. Yeah. And speaking and of that, uh, speaking of gas, I mean, you got to be filled up and ready to go because there could be traffic jams both in and out if you're trying to get to oh, the path that. of totality yeah. too. Yeah. And be patient. They say the traffic on I-74 is going to be crazy for those who want to experience the whole thing yeah. in <laughs> Indiana. Hey, yeah, uh, I, I think. I can experience the whole thing right here. There right. you go. Just look up. If you have the right glasses. It's okay. Fine. Uh, Brother Greg says WAND is doing a live cam. Mm. Well, I have a big screen, man. Okay. The wow. Comfort of my home. Somebody else asked about pets, Steve. I don't know about Ooh. their eyesight. Yeah, same and... thing, isn't it? That would be. Yeah. That would be. But I don't think many of the pets. Usually they got their heads down, looking right. around the ground, and doing other things. Yeah, love you, Mo- love you, Mosey. You're trying to put my glasses on, must I? I think they know. <laughs> I think my two dogs <laughs> okay. know. I think they do. Well, I've, I've seen a few uh, YouTube and or X um, pictures of animals, cats, dogs, wearing the, the Eclipse glasses, but um, <laughs> um, that would be interesting. Right. You're the man, Dr. Steve Leon, Chittick Eye Care, um, super guy, and just great American, and also dang knowledgeable. You just, you are the best, bud. And the Stevie J ranking, number one in the world. I got it right here. What can I say? <laughs> It's how the votes came in. I voted. Mm-hmm. Listen, thank you uh, for, for the information. Very, very important, and I hope the word gets out. Yes. Don't mess with this. Well, hey. it, it will, and I think media has done a great job on getting out the safety aspects of it all, and um, just the radio station, too. Yeah, listen, thank you, and thanks for uh, uh, short notice. Thanks for jumping on. All right, no problem. Dr. You guys have a good day. That's Dr. Steve Leon. He's with Chittick Eye Care. You Happy Solar Eclipse yeah. Day. Yeah, call the Chittick and see if they got any more glasses. That's right. Um, I, otherwise, I have no idea how much they cost. Mainly area libraries are doing viewing and out. parties. We'll find a library and, here? Is uh, got any over I'm here? I'm pretty sure, but yeah. you know, maybe yeah. call ahead. But I know I got my pack with two in it and a couple of different activities and coloring sheets and a way to uh, a slip that talks about your solar eclipse projector that you were just talking about with the pinhole there's just all kinds of options for you so it's just an online search away or just go and experience that and enjoy the the whole experience again at 12 45 to 3 15 is essentially the big window of the crossover of the moon over the sun but between 2 and 205 is the totality hey greg i just talked to dr steve leon optometrist of the year in illinois and he said that the old glasses probably aren't safe, FYI. Just warning Greg Solier, because mm-hmm. we talked about it. He was going yes, to I was going to use my old ones, but not right, anymore. Twenty seven. Whatever he says. Mm-hmm. Steve Leon. 846. You have money laying all around your house. You just don't know it. And no, I don't mean selling your great grandma's good china. I mean all the old metal items you don't want to use or get rid of. Don't pay someone to haul it away. Bring it into Max Twin City Recycling and get paid to have it taken off your hands. They love new customers and are more than willing to walk you through their process step by step. Come check them out at 2808 North Lincoln Avenue in Urbana. From computer systems to Brex and tires too, at PDR, fixing cars is what they do. Remember, when you turn the key and the car won't run, call 367-9481 or use their dedicated text only line at 383-0619. Additional information including repair quotes and online scheduling requests available from the website at pdrauto.com. Remember, they are what's best for your truck or car. They are PDR. Hi, I'm Troy Lands from Lands Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Underground Solutions. Are you tired of dealing with leaky faucets, basement flooding, bursting or leaking pipes? From plumbing maintenance and repairs to installing new water heaters and sump pumps, our goal is to get you up and running as soon as possible. At Lands Plumbing, we have 24-7 emergency service and a team of highly skilled professionals that will work with you to get the job done right the first time. I'm Troy Lands, and you can count on my company because you can count on me. Welcome to Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. Hi, I'm looking for a refrigerator. When you buy from us, you get the whole store. Oh, yeah, well, I just need a refrigerator. Don't need the whole store. But you get it, the whole store. My kitchen is only about this big. You get me. Hello. All those delivery, installation, and service technicians in back. Wow, all those people? The Dick Van Dyke 5, 10-year protection plan, which means in the unlikely event something goes wrong in the first five years, your repair cost is nothing. Nothing? 10 years parts coverage on the major components. 
looks like I'm getting more than the refrigerator today. Um, how much does this whole store cost? Nothing. Come on. For real. We guarantee to beat any competitor's deal, all that other stuff we talked about, like our service tax. And your 510 year protection plan. All included. I'm Dennis Freak and chairman of Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. And when we say you get the whole store, we mean the whole store. Wow. Dick Van Dyke Appliance World. When you buy from us, you get the whole store. All right, quick check of some sports headlines. When I came into Milwaukee, I went to the Deer District and had um, some fun times getting into the celebration as the Milwaukee Bucks were playing right across the way. Well, New York ended up beating the Milwaukee Bucks yesterday, 122-109. We also had Indiana over Miami, 117-115. And the Bulls took a hit yesterday. Orlando came out on top, 113-98. to Of course, we have men's basketball tonight. In the NCAA tournament, the championship round against Purdue and UConn starts at 820 on TBS. Last night in women's basketball, South Carolina over Iowa, 87-75 to take down Caitlin Clark and the whole team. But really good sentiments all around about women's sports, and I love that kind of kumbaya moment we also have uh baseball to talk about since we're your home for the cardinals miami came out on top 10 to 3 yesterday but the st louis cardinals won two out of three in that series and have a 645 start here on espn 93.5 against philadelphia go cardinals Hello again, everyone. Let's check weather for East Central Illinois. Champagne and Panama Saturday. It's the big day. The big solar eclipse scheduled to reach its peak here in East Central Illinois shortly after the 2 o'clock hour. Pretty good looking visibilities and ceilings expected. Unlimited in both categories. Weather wise, for the rest of the week, frontal boundary and a system up from the south and southwest. Two of them will generate some glancing rainfall tomorrow, more so the middle part of the week. Modest cool down. Another big warm up slated over the course of the weekend next week, too. Uh, we'll see an afternoon high. Today across the area that tops out go at around 74 degrees on a gusty south southwesterly wind down to 9 to 51. Tomorrow maybe a stray shower early and late, more so later in the day, the high to about 71. Hazel showers tomorrow night, low down to 47, and a bit cooler for the day on Wednesday. Some showers both morning and afternoon. High slated thunderstorm up to 66. Rain in 58 on Thursday, 62 on Friday into the 70s, Saturday, and Sunday. Could be a shower on Saturday. For Stephen G Broadcasting, I'm Beatrice, Greg Solge. Get the roof your home deserves by Roof Doctors, your residential roofing specialist that has always offered the best warranties in the industry, like our non-prorated 50-year warranty. Our customers love that we are family-owned and locally operated. We make our customer needs our top priority. With over 30 years' experience and the best customer service, give Roof Doctors a call today for your free estimate at 328-7529. In your community and for your community, Roof Doctors. Think you have to settle for mediocre car insurance to save money? Think again. It's possible to get superior coverage and still save money with Erie Insurance. Customers who switched to Erie saved up to $951. It pays to compare. Switch and save with Erie. Your Erie agent in Champaign is Thomas & Ellers Insurance. Annual savings based on new customers surveyed in March 2022 who reported savings when switching auto insurance. Individual premiums and savings will vary. We are celebrating today with an outstanding college relations sergeant. Her name is Sam Penland. You are working, making people safe, helping people, talking to people, and you're giving a positive influence like you receive. What do you want people to know finally about police? I think because people often see me and I appear to look young, they don't realize that I've been in policing since 2004. And so when I came in, policing tactics were very different. There has been a huge shift And the reason why I really focus on my style now is because I have seen hard policing and what works. And so some people might think, oh, well, you're too soft or we're not fighting crime the way we used to. We are. This doesn't mean that we're not enforcing laws, but there's a difference now with how we can help people. At ABC Heating and Air, it's our promise to help you always be comfortable. Do you need rescued because you're burning hot? 
Do you need rescued because your air is shot? Call ABC Heating and Air at 352-5400 and let us rescue you from the heat. ABC Heating and Air, 352-5400. Can't you see you need to call me at ABC? Call ABC Heating and Air. That's ABC Heating and Air, 352-5400. As Tapman's Towing celebrates 50 years of serving Central Illinois, we're always seeking good people to serve our great customers. Our team of expert tow professionals would like to interview others with CDLs, previous tow experience, or a strong interest in serving others. If you enjoy serving people, love working in the outdoors, and looking for a career, not just a job, we should talk soon. Do you have a strong desire but lack the experience? We should still talk. Visit our career page at tapmanstilling.com. Okay, 8.53. The boys this afternoon can talk about who's got next at Kentucky since John Calipari's taking the Arkansas basketball job. Kind mm-hmm. of surprising. Mm-hmm. So who can they talk into? They got to get some significant somebody for Kentucky, right? Right. I think so. By the way, South Carolina beat Iowa in women's basketball. Uh, South Carolina had nine players with significant minutes, including this uh, – Cardosa, their center. Okay. She's six foot seven. She had 15 points, 17 rebounds. Oh, my. Anyway, uh, they had so many good players. Yeah. A, I don't, they're 109 wins and three losses in the last three years. Who beat South Carolina moving forward? Well, go get some NIL money because that's now in the women's there game. There you go. All Caitlin right. Clark with 30 yesterday. Yeah, 30 at a lot of shots, though. Mm-hmm. She, they definitely did a pretty good job on it. She was nuts in the first quarter with 18 points in the first quarter. And uh, I was up 10 or 13 or something. Right. And they came storming back. All right. Thank you. Uh, We'll be back tomorrow. Be careful with the solar eclipse today. Yes. Enjoy that experience right around two for totality. Get the proper glasses, please. Absolutely. Thank you, Diane. Enjoy the day. That's Diane Ducey. I'm Stevie J. Long branches are Stever. Go to GoStever.com. GoStever.com. Thank you for listening. Have a great Monday. This is Starla Carr with Provident Financial Group. Political news is sure to dominate the headlines in 2024, adding uncertainty to the markets. This makes a disciplined investment strategy even more critical to achieving your long-term goals. To assure your investments are aligned with your objectives, contact us today at 217-366-3456 or find us online at ProvidentFinancialGroupLLC.com. Securities and advisory services offered through Commonwealth Financial Network. Member FINRA SIPC, a registered investment advisor. Hey, where are you headed? To Kelsey Furniture in Tuscola. What do they have there? What don't they have there? Living room furniture, benches, chests, love seats, sectionals, tables, bedroom sets, hutches, nightstands, end tables, cabinets, mirrors, stools, clocks, lamps, pillows, rugs, desks, media consoles, patio furniture, Tempur-Pedic mattresses, and more. So, everything. Yeah, probably could have uh, just said that. Kelsey Furniture, quality for less. PDR Automotive has now been serving the Champaign-Urbana area for over 50 years. To give you some perspective, 50 years ago ended the U.S. involvement in the Vietnam War, and it was when Secretariat won the Triple Crown. So what does that mean for you and your vehicle? Whether you need a carburetor overhauled or your new vehicle computer system diagnosed or programmed, PDR Automotive has the experienced, knowledgeable staff that can handle all your automotive needs. Online at PDRauto.com, they are what's best for your truck or car. They are... PDR. Hi, I'm Tyler Weaver, president of Carpet Weaver's Flooring and Furniture Gallery. Take a look around your home. Is it finally ready for some much needed updates? If you don't know where to start, then just meet with one of our experts. We'll help you find the perfect waterproof plank floor for your kitchen or that stain resistant, super soft carpet for your bedroom. Finish your room update with a custom sofa and chairs or choose a trendy in stock dining set that's priced right. Come home to Carpet Weavers, where floors, furniture, and family meet. I've got to clean out this garage. Let's see. What's the cheapest and easiest dumpster service in our area? Here's what I found. The doggy bag. Hmm, think she's broken. I'm not looking for takeout. Siri, try again. The doggy bag from Bulldog Disposal in Muhammad. Doggy bag? What's that? If you got junk that needs to go, but you don't want the hassle of having an enormous dumpster delivered, grab a doggy bag, keep it as long as you need. They'll come take it away. For more information, just visit BulldoggyBag.com. That's BulldoggyBag.com. 
Bet like the pros with the world's largest sports book right at your fingertips. Circus Sports is now available in Illinois. Hi, I'm Derek Stevens. I've been a lifelong sports better and I'm the owner of Circus Sports. We're excited that the Circus Sports app is now ready for action. Experience big app bets with high betting limits, tight money line splits, and more. Now you can download, fund, and bet like a pro from anywhere in Illinois. Download your new bookie today at CircusSports.com. If you or somebody you know may have a problem with gambling, call 1-800-GAMBLER or text ILGAMB to 833-234. A.J. Croce, performing Croce Plays Croce, the 50th anniversary show. A special night of music featuring timeless classics by his late father, Jim Croce, such as Bad Bad Leroy Brown, I Got a Name, and Time in a Bottle. Tickets on sale now. Coming to the Virginia Theater Tuesday, April 9th. Get your tickets now at thevirginia.org. Get the roof your home deserves by Roof Doctors, your residential roofing specialist that has always offered the best warranties in the industry, like our non-prorated 50-year warranty. Our customers love that we are family-owned and locally operated. We make our customer needs our top priority. With over 30 years' experience and the best customer service, give Roof Doctors a call today for your free estimate at 328-7529. In your community and for your community, Roof Doctors. You have money 